everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Dippery Studios. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can track anything into a footage of your sky with a simple handheld motion on your camera. So the first step is to film anything. Um, just make sure that it's not going too wild with the handheld motion, otherwise your tracking won't work. And now we can start getting into After Effects. So let's go. Alright everyone, how's it going? So, we're back in After Effects again to do a motion tracking tutorial. Um, actually camera tracking, not motion tracking. So, let's make a new composition. And we can import our sky footage into that. And everything is looking nice. So, what we're going to do is come up here to the animation tab. And then click on track camera. Now, while that's tracking, it's going to take a few minutes. Um, depends how long your footage is. Um, but while you're waiting, you can just sit down, drink LaCroix, or whatever you want. Alright, while we're waiting, we can get started on making our Star Destroyer, um, Death Star, Flying Bird, Dragon, whatever it is that you want to put in the sky, we can get started by making it look acceptable for how it's going to be placed in the sky. So we're going to go ahead and import what it's going to be. In this case, I'm going to use the Death Star. I should have gotten a PNG, but too late now. What I'm gonna do is just make a mask around it. Okay there, so now we have a good mask around the Death Star, and then I'm just gonna bring down the opacity to about 60%. All right guys, so now that our footage is done being tracked, we can hide the Death Star layer by clicking on this little eyeball icon next to it. And then we are going to come up to the effect controls of the camera tracker and just click on the words right here, 3D camera tracker. And when you do that, you should see all of these little um, crisscross things pop up. Now I'm just going to select three of them, which I think are very, very stable and aren't disappearing or reappearing throughout the video. Or what you could do is just drag around it and it'll make a little lasso thing. So I'm going to pick these ones right here. You just right click them and select create null and camera. There you go. Now you're going to have a 3D track null and a 3D camera tracker layer which just appeared. Now, I, now what we're going to do is come here to our Death Star layer and enable the eyeball icon right there. And you, are, you want to switch it to 3D mode on that layer. Now, if you don't see the 3D icon, you're just going to click right here on the toggle switches and modes and click on that until you see this screen right here. And then you can turn on the 3D mode, which is that little box icon. Now, play through, and as you can see, it's tracked into our footage. And then you can just use these handlebars to move it into place and make it smaller or bigger if you need to. And there you go, it's successfully tracked into your footage. And then again, you can always adjust the settings, make it more see-through if it's kind of a foggy day. Or if you want to, which I would do if the sky was a bit more blue, is you could apply the curves effect to your Death Star layer, or whatever it is that you're putting in the sky. And then you can change the red channel, see then it gets more red. Um. You know, that just helps it really blend into the sky if it's a different color. But because the sky is white, I don't really need that. So I'll just get rid of that effect. Alright guys, it's been great showing you how to do this. And I, I'm looking forward to seeing you next time on Dippery Studios. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the bell and subscribe to get notifications every time a new video comes out. And I'll see you next time on Dippery Studios.